welcome back guys today we will be continuing on graph theory so today we will see more definitions on graph theory so now let us start so isolated vertex a vertex in a graph G is called isolated if its degree is zero suppose a vertex in a space is like this so it has no edge suppose it has no edge connecting to it or incident to it so its degree will be zero and it will be known as an isolated vertex so now pendant vertex a vertex in a graph G is called pendant vertex if its degree is 1 so suppose we have a vertex like this V and a, another vertex V2 so we have only one edge connecting to it so it's in, or incident to it so its degree is 1 so V1 or V2 both are known as pendant vertex so now pendant edge an edge which is incident with the pendant vertex with the pendant vertex is called pendant edge so here v1 is the pendant edge pendant vertex so so e1 is incident to it so it will be known as the pendant edge now let us start null graph so a graph g is called a null graph if if it has no edge for the null graph all vertex are isolated vertex so basically to have a null graph you should have an isolated vertex so v1 v2 v3 so this is all a graph g which has three vertices so this is a null graph now we will see simple graph so a graph having no loops or self loops and no parallel edges no parallel edges is called a simple graph so multi no, I will explain this by this multi graph so a graph G having no self loops but containing parallel edges now pseudo graph a graph having both self loop and parallel edges so for simple graph it should be something like this v1 v2 v3 like this for multi graph it should have it should not have any for simple graph should not have any self loop or parallel edges for multi graph having no self loop but containing parallel edges so something like this v1 v2 v3 so this is e1 e2 
here it will be e1 e2 e3 here we see that there are two parallel edges and for pseudograph it's it can ha it should have both so v1 v2 v3 e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 these are parallel edges and this is a simple loop self loop complete graph so a simple for a complete graph a simple graph should have this condition should have if there exist an edge between every distinct vertices every distinct vertices so suppose we have something like this so v1 v2 v3 e1 e2 e3 so here we see that all each vertex is connected with an edge so all this it is continuous so now let we will see regular graph regular graph so a graph g a graph g is said to be regular if degree of each vertex is same degree of each vertex is same so if degree of each vertex is k then it will be called it will be called k degree vertex so this is for example suppose v1 v2 so here degree is 1 and for for the same example here we say v1 v2 v3 here is degree 2 2 2 so degree 2 so one important point is that every complete graph must be regular but vice versa is not same but vice versa is not so thank you for watching it